what's up guys welcome back to a new video today we're gonna test out some cheap cinematography hacks around the house and this is just the proof that if you do get creative you can get any cool effect that you see in any movie without any fancy gear but first this whole studio setting looks a bit too fake right now so let's change from this beautiful polished one to my actual look behind me three two one and we're back so this is what the room actually looks like with the curtains open and no fancy lights and just a key light over here and so the first hack we're gonna try is to recreate this beautiful dreamy bloom effect and usually you can get this by using this fancy filters which are called black diffusion or dream filters and in fact i always have a black promise filter from tiffin on my lens 24 7 i never take it off i just looks just looks nice but to recreate this effect at home without spending any money let me quickly change the microphone i'm going to put the shotgun mic on and then get you guys around the house okay so as you know i live in bali and we have a lot of these little things which are incense you can find incense absolutely anywhere in bali and this is not the first hack but to get to the last hack i need to start this first so what we're going to do we're going to get a bunch of incense and just leave it next to the door where the light comes in and then we're going to create atmosphere with it so first thing first let's grab a bunch of incense and then start with the first hack after that <music> This is all we need. All right, so what we're gonna do is light a bunch of incense and then we'll get back to it later. All right, first hack is applying aloe vera gel to your lens to mimic this bloom dream effect. Aloe vera, it's very common here in Bali because everyone gets burned but I'm pretty sure it's very common everywhere because it's a very easy cream and it's very good for you to put on your skin. So I always recommend adding this to a UV filter. Don't add this to an actual lens glass just because you might damage it. So yeah, just have a UV filter, a piece of glass that doesn't matter in front of your lens so you can use this little trick. So let's, uh, let's go back inside and apply this on. All right, I said not to apply this gel straight onto your lens but um yeah i don't have an empty filter for this one and i think this is the most cinematic lens i have which is the 14 millimeter by samyang so what we're gonna do is uh get some of the gel and put it on top Gel is applied and let's see what kind of difference this makes. Moving on to the second one. This is actually pretty similar, but it gives a totally different effect. And this is actually worth doing in like music video shoots or any like artistic shoots that you might do. And all you need is a lens and a glass of water. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your lens dip your finger into the water and then just drop a few droplets of water on the lens like this and then you're going to put the lens on the camera and pretty much you're done try and align the droplets with like some light behind the subject just to get that cool look As you can see, the incense are pretty much ready. So what we can do is bring this big, huge key light outside, close the curtains a little bit, take off the softbox, beam it through the door, and hopefully we're gonna get a sick shot with all the light coming through and make like a little like light beam through this whole smoke thing going on. My eyes are burning so much right now because I'm standing <coughs> literally in front of the smoke. So let's uh, let's just do this.
Woo! Eyes are so watery <laughs> around the smoke. Hopefully now I turn on the AC so it should uh, calm down. Moving on to the last one, which is grab one of these tiny RGB lights that you can find absolutely anywhere, even a very cheap one from Amazon or even your flashlight. You can use a flash on your phone if you don't have an RGB light. So what you're gonna do is turn it on and then literally just go next to the lens and kind of move it around like that, around the lens to create some cool light flare and lens flares. And usually I do this when I'm holding the camera and held and I have a light next to me and I just move it around to create some cool kind of trippy effect. This is a very cool effect that you can use for music videos, for example. So let's try this out. And that was the last one. <laughs> a little reveal there. Hope you guys like this video. Hope you enjoy these little hacks. Try them out for yourself. Let me know below if you have any more questions. And please do not put shit on your lens. I am not responsible for any of that. Okay? Subscribe, like, all those things, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Now nah, I'm still here.